Today, we're going to talk about the weather. Everyone talks about the weather. First, we'll talk about seasons. Seasons. Now, there are four seasons. First one, spring. Spring. It's very nice. Second, we have summer. Summer. It's a lovely time. Fall or autumn. There are two names. Fall or autumn. Fall, autumn. And then finally, we have winter. Winter. All right? So again, we have spring, summer, fall or autumn, and winter. All right. Now, when we talk about the seasons, we use in. And there's two ways that we can do this. In. Okay? And we can also use the. So there's two ways. In winter or in the winter. All right? In winter, in the winter. Or in spring, in the spring. In spring, in the spring. In summer, in the summer. In summer, in the summer. But in the fall. In the fall. There's nothing here. Okay? So again, in winter, in the winter. In spring, in the spring. In summer, in the summer. Nothing in the fall. Okay? Now, let's practice a little bit. All right. Now, let's start with Isabel. Isabel, which months are in the spring? March, April, and May. Yes, that's right. Ali, which months are in the summer? June, July, August. All right. And Susan, you ask the question now. Isabel, which months are in the fall? September, October, and November. All right, Ali. Now, you ask. Susan, which months are in winter? December, January, and February. Good, okay. Now, Susan, is your birthday in the fall? Yes, it is. It is in September. Aha. Uh -huh. Ali, is your birthday in the fall? No, it isn't. It's in May. It's in the spring. All right. Now, Isabel, when is your birthday? It is in May, too. It's in the spring. Isabel, when is my birthday? Mm, is it in the fall? Yes. Is it in October? Yes, it is. It's on October 3rd. Now, let's talk about the weather. Here are some words for talking about the weather. So we have the seasons, and now we'll talk about words for weather. Now, first... It's sunny. It's sunny. The sun is shining. The sun is shining. It's a sunny day. It's a sunny day. It's a nice day. It's a nice day. And it's a fine day. Okay? These are the same. It's sunny. The sun is shining. It's a sunny day. It's a nice day. It's a fine day. All right? Now, for a different kind of weather, we have 
more words. First, it's cloudy. It's cloudy. It's a cloudy day. It's a cloudy day. All right. Now, here's another one. It's cloudy. It's a cloudy day. Now we have, it's rainy. It's rainy. It's a rainy day. It's a rainy day. And it's raining. It's raining. It's rainy. It's a rainy day. It's raining. Okay, now here's another one. It's snowy. It's snowy. It's a snowy day. It's a snowy day. And it's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowy. It's a snowy day. It's snowing. Okay, here's another one. It's foggy. It's foggy. It's a foggy day. It's a foggy day. It's foggy. It's a foggy day. And we have it's windy. It's windy. It's a windy day. It's a windy day. It's windy. It's a windy day. All right? Weather terms, present continuous tense. Now, Let's talk about these sentences. First, it is rainy and it is raining. It is raining. It is rainy. It is raining. Okay, now they're a little bit different. This one means it rains, it stops. It rains, it stops. This one means it is raining now. It's raining now. All right? So they're a little bit different. Now, we looked at sentences like this one before. Rainy is an adjective. Adjective. Okay? It tells inf it gives information. Now, there are other adjectives for weather. Let's look at them. Adjectives for weather. Okay, we have sunny, sunny, cloudy, cloudy, snowy, snowy, foggy, foggy, and windy. Windy. Okay, again, sunny, cloudy, snowy, foggy, and windy. Now, remember, for this kind of sentence, the structure is this. It is sunny. It is sunny. Now, we have the subject, it. The verb is, and the complement, sunny. So, it is sunny, subject, verb, complement. Because this gives information about it, the weather. All right? Now, we're going to look at some pictures and practice using the sentences. 
Now, I would like you to make one positive and one negative sentence about each one. So, Ali, I would like you to start with the first picture. It is cloudy. It isn't windy. All right. All right, Susan, for you, the second one. It's foggy. It isn't windy. All right, okay. Now, Isabel, the next one is for you. It's windy and rainy. It is not sunny. Okay. And here's another one for you, Ali. It's sunny. It isn't rainy. All right. Very good. Thank you. Now, let's talk about the other kind of sentence. Here's the example. It is raining. It is raining. Okay? Now, we're going to look at this kind of verb. This verb has two names. One name is present continuous continuous or the other name is present progressive. These are the same. They're the same. But this is the one that we're going to use. Continuous means that it's raining, 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 raining. It's continuing. Okay? So this, I want you to remember, it is raining. This is called present continuous or present progressive. We will call it present continuous. It is used for the present time, and it shows that the action is continuing. All right? Now, this is why it's present continuous. It continues. Now, let's talk about a little bit more. Now, if you remember, we talked about simple present before. And simple present was used, for example, uh, it is uh, rainy. was used for habits, facts, and routines. This is a fact. It is rainy. Yes, now. Okay? Now, we'll show you some examples, but I want you to notice that. Remember that simple present was used for habits, facts, and routines. This is used for action now. Here is an example of the difference. Okay, now, here comes the example. I smoke cigarettes. I smoke cigarettes. Unfortunately, this is my habit. This is my routine. It's a fact. Okay? I smoke cigarettes, but I am not smoking a cigarette now. I smoke cigarettes, my habit, my routine, but I am not smoking a cigarette now. Okay? So this is the habit, the fact, the routine. This is action. This is continuing action that's actually not happening. Okay? Now, here's the formula for the present continuous. This is uh, for mathematics, like. All right. Here's the formula. The formula for this verb is be, mm -mm, ing. Be, mm -mm, ing. Now, this will change. Be changes. This doesn't change. Okay, the verb, mm -mm, ing. So this will change for the time. Now, there are two words. Two words. Be and mm -mm, ing. This one changes. This one is always mm -mm, ing. Now, today, we're going to only talk about it for the weather. This is what it looks like. 
it is raining. It is raining. If we make it a little shorter, it's raining. Okay, we saw this before. It is raining. It's raining. Raining, raining, raining. Now, this is what it looks like in the negative. It is not raining. It is not raining. And then to make it shorter, it isn't raining. It is not raining. It isn't raining. Okay? Now, here's what it looks like with a question and short answer. Let me take this off first. Here comes the question. Is it raining? Is it raining? Yes, it is. Is it raining? Yes, it is. Or, is it raining? No, it's not. No, it isn't. Okay, so these are the same. Is it raining? Yes, it is. Is it raining? No, it's not. Is it raining? No, it isn't. Okay? Now, for the weather, these are the kinds of sentences that you can write or say. Now, here are three examples. It's raining. It's raining. It's snowing. It's snowing. This one is a little bit different. The sun is shining. The sun is shining. So again, it's raining. It's snowing. The sun is shining. Now, let's look at some photos and then we can make some sentences. So, here we go. Um, now, again, I want you to make one positive and one negative sentence about each picture. So, Ali, you start. The sun is shining. It isn't raining. Okay. Now, Susan, one for you. It is not raining. It is not snowing. All right, that's good. And Isabel, we have one for you. It is raining. It's not snowing. Okay. Now, here's another one, Ali. The sun is shining. It isn't snowing. That's right. Good job. Now, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's not raining. The sun is shining. It's sunny. Read and repeat. Now, we're going to talk about temperatures. Now, here is a thermometer. Here is a thermometer. Beautiful, huh? It's a thermometer. All right, okay. Now, we can say, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's a hot. Day. It's a hot day. It's hot. 
It's a hot day. Okay, now let's change the temperature. It's warm. It's warm. Let's take this one out. It's warm. It's a warm day. It's warm. It's a warm day. All right, let's change the temperature again. And we'll make it a little bit in here. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's a cool day. It's a cool day. And then finally, we have, it's cold. It's cold. Ooh, it's cold. It's a cold day. It's a cold day. It's cold. It's a cold day. Now, we can combine these words and put them together. Now, for example, we can say, it's a hot, sunny, sunny day. Okay? We have hot, sunny, hot, plus sunny. Okay? We can put them together. It's a hot, sunny day. Or, another example, it's a cold, windy day. Here we have cold plus windy, but we can put them together. It's a cold, windy day. Okay? Now, here's a new question, and then we can practice some. All right. Here's the question. How is the weather? How is the weather? So let me ask the assistants and find out about the weather. So Ali, how is the weather today? It's sunny. It's hot. All right. Isabel. How is the weather today in Antarctica? Oh, it's cold. It's windy. Yes. Susan, how is the weather today in Hawaii? It is a hot, sunny day. Yes. Ali, in the winter, how is the weather here? It's cold and rainy. Mm -hmm. Susan, in spring, how is the weather? It's cool and rainy. And Isabel, in the fall, how is the weather? It is cool and windy. Ali, what is the normal temperature in the summer here? It's 30 degrees. Susan, in the winter? 5 or 10 degrees. Okay, thank you very much. Now, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. It is summer today. It is hot and sunny. It is winter. It is cold and snowy. It is windy. It is spring. It is cool and rainy. It is fall. It is cool and windy. It is raining. Read and repeat.
citizens. Now, we're going to look at some more photos and make sentences. So, Ali, how is the weather in this photo? It's winter. It's cold. Is it snowing? Yes, it is. Is it windy? Maybe. All right. Susan, how is the weather in this photo? It is summer. It is sunny. And the sun is shining. Yes, that's right. Is it hot? Mm, maybe. Is it windy? No. All right. Now, Isabel, here's another picture for you. And how is the weather in this picture? It's rainy. Maybe it's spring. Is it cold? Maybe it's cool. Is it windy? Yes, it is. All right. Thank you very much. Pronunciation. Now, we're going to do some more pronunciation. We're going to do vowel sounds, and we're going to do these. Uh, ah, ah, and eh. Uh, ah, ah, eh. Okay, these are vowel sounds. Now, first we'll start with words with short uh. Here we go. Us, us, Sunday, Sunday, sun, sun, up, love, luck, but, fun, up. Okay? These all have the uh sound. So here we go again. Us. Sunday. Sun. Up. Love. Luck. But. Fun. Cup. Now here comes a different list. We're going to do uh and ah. Uh. First, luck, luck, fun, fun, but, but, mud, mud, ton, ton, dumb, dumb, much, much. Okay, again, luck, fun, but, mud, ton, dumb, much. Okay, now here come some sounds with ah. Lack, fan, bat, mad, tan, dam, and match, match. Okay, again, lack, fan, bat, mad, tan, dam, match. Now let's go this way, and you can listen to the sounds and practice them at home. All right, here we go. Luck, lack, fun. Fan, but, bat, mud, mad, ton, tan, dumb, dam, much, match. Okay? Now, let's look at a different list. This time, we're going to do uh and Eh. Ah and eh. Okay, here's the first list. But, ton, done, bunch, nut, duck, and money. Money. Okay, again. But, ton, done, 
bunch, nut, duck, money. Okay, now let's do some with this sound. Eh. Et. Ten. Din. Bench. Net. Deck. And many. Okay, now again. Et. Ten. Den. Bench. Net. Deck. Many. Now, let's go across, and you can listen for the sounds. Now, at home, you practice saying them, too. But, bet. Ton, ten. Dun, den. Bunch, bench. Nut, net. Duck, deck. Money, many. All right? Now, this is the next, the next one that we're going to do is the short uh and ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. First, ah. Uh. Cup. Shut. Rub. Duck. Dull. Bum. Cut. Hut. Luck. And nut. Nut. Okay, again. Cup. Shut. Rub. Duck. Dull. Bum. Cut. Hut. Luck. Nut. Okay, now the next list is the ah sound. Here we go. Cop. Shot. Rob. Doc. Doll. Bomb. Caught. Hot. Lock. And not. Not. Okay, again. Cop. Shot. Rob. Doc. Doll. Bomb, caught, hot, lock, not. Now, this time let's go across and you can hear the sounds and you practice at home. Here we go. Cup, cop, shut, shot, rub, rob, duck, dock, dull, doll. Bum, bomb, cut, caught, hut, hot, luck, lock, nut, not. Okay, now we're going to look at some sentences and the assistants will help us with them. It's a little bit of practice again for the sound, okay? For the sound. And here are the sentences. It is fun, but it's dumb. It's fun, but it's dumb. The fan is dumb. The fan is dumb. The cup has a bunch of nuts. The cup has a bunch of nuts. It's not hot, but it's sunny. It's not hot, but it's sunny. And bunny loves money, but doesn't have much. Bunny loves money, but doesn't have much. Okay, now we're going to have the assistants practice these, and here we go. So, Ali, I would like you to do the first one, please. 
It is fun, but it's dumb. Good. Isabel. The fan is dumb. Great. Now, Susan. The cup has a bunch of nuts. Good. Now, Isabel again. It's not hot, but it's sunny. Okay. Now, Ali. Bunny loves money, but doesn't have much. Isabel, do you understand these sentences? No, I don't. No problem. They're only for pronunciation and sound. You can look at the words at home. All right. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Listen and write these words. Number one. Windy, windy. Number two, cool, cool. Number three, fall, fall. Number four, nice, nice. Number five, foggy, foggy. Now, check your work. Number one, windy. Number two, cool. Number three, fall. Number four, nice. Number five, foggy. Now, let's listen and write the sentences. Number one, it is raining in Spain, but it is foggy here. It is raining in Spain, but it is foggy here. Number two, spring is cool and windy there. Spring is cool and windy there. Number three, fall is nice, but it is cold. Fall is nice, but it is cold. Number four, in the summer it is sunny, and in the winter it is windy. In the summer it is sunny, and in the winter it is windy. Number five, I love the fun in the fall. I love the fun in the fall. Now, check your work. Number one, it is raining in Spain, but it is foggy here. Number two, spring is cool and windy there. Number three, fall is nice, but it is cold. Number four, in the summer it is sunny, and in the winter it is windy. Number five, I love the fun in the fall. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. It is winter in Canada. It is a cold and windy day in January. It is snowing. It is minus 10 degrees. John is cold. He is in his office, but it is cold. He wants warm, sunny summer. His mother and father are in warm, sunny Mexico. They go to Mexico every winter. They are very lucky. Now, listen to the questions and write your answers. Number one. Is it summer in Canada? Is it summer in Canada? 
Number two. What month is it? What month is it? Number three. How is the weather? How is the weather? Number four. Is it raining? Is it raining? Number five. Is the sun shining? Is the sun shining? Number six. What does John want? What does John want? Number seven. Where are his mother and father? Where are his mother and father? Number eight. What is it like? What is it like? Number nine. When do they go there? When do they go there? Number 10. Are they lucky? Are they lucky? Now, check your work. Number 1. Is it summer in Canada? No, it isn't. It's winter. Number 2. What month is it? It is January. Number three. How is the weather? It is cold and windy. Number four. Is it raining? No, it isn't. It's snowing. Number five. Is the sun shining? No, it isn't. Number six, what does John want? He wants warm, sunny summer. Number seven, where are his mother and father? They are in Mexico. Number eight, what is it like? It is warm and sunny. Number nine, when do they go there? They go to Mexico every winter. Number 10. Are they lucky? Yes, they are. Very good. We'll see you next time. Practicing English. Oh, it is really hot today. The sky is bright and the sun is shining. When I was out west in the U.S. last summer, we were in the desert. We had a very strong storm. The sky got very dark. Suddenly it got windy and then it started raining very hard. I bet the desert is beautiful after the rain. Yes, it was. I saw a beautiful rainbow after the storm. In South America, these seasons are opposite from ours, right? Uh, our winter is their summer, and our summer is their winter. Is that right? Yes, it is, because the continents are different directions to the sun. That is why we have four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. We all have the same seasons, just at different times of the year. I didn't know that. So, for example, in July and August in Istanbul, when we are having summer, it's winter in South America and the southern parts of Africa. Yes, that's right. So, in Istanbul, in the winter, when it's cold, say, January or February, in South America and Australia, they're having summer. What about in Greece, Lexi? What is the weather like there in the summer? Well, it's very hot in many places. And on cloudy days, it's cooler, of course. Sometimes it rains in the summer. But usually, the weather is very bright, sunny, and warm. What about the winter, Alexei? Well, it depends on where you live. In the hills and mountains, it is colder and there are snowy days. 
But the winter is usually cold and wet. And the springtime? Spring is my favorite time anywhere. In Greece, in the spring, we celebrate the passing of winter and celebrate the changing earth. Like anywhere, farmers plant crops, flowers bloom, and people spend more time outside. Now, I have a question for you guys. What are the four seasons like in New York? I have never been to America, and I'd like to visit your country someday. Well, my area, summers are very nice, but sometimes it gets too hot. We get big storms with thunder and lightning and lots of rain. Hmm. Well, what about the autumn? Fall is my favorite season. The air is fresh and clean, and the colors on the trees are great. What else do you like about the fall? Well, the air is also cooler. Sometimes we get fog in New York. On those days, you can't see the buildings there because the fog covers where they end. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yes, it's very interesting on foggy days. And what about the winter? I'll talk about that one. Sometimes winters are easy with not a lot of snow, but sometimes. There can be a lot of snow. Last winter, we had a blizzard, and the entire city was shut down. I was in New York at that time. I couldn't go out for three days. Do you remember that? Yeah, that was a really bad storm. I saw it on television. My mother told me about it on the phone. She said there was nearly a meter of snow in that blizzard. What is this word, blizzard? Oh, sorry, Alexi. A blizzard is a snowstorm that often shuts down work, school, and transportation. How often do you get these blizzards? Maybe not even once in a winter, but sometimes more than five times a winter. Wow! And what about springtime in New York? Well, it seems to take a long time for spring to come, but when it does come, flowers bloom. People go to the park. The sunsets are very pretty. It's lovely. Wow, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Well, this day is no one's favorite. It's very hot. Look, everyone's looking for shade. This is really hot weather. I'll be glad when the sun goes down and cools this hot and humid day. This is just like a summer day in Greece. So it's not hard to believe this is summer in Turkey. It may rain after all this hot weather. And then we could see a rainbow. I hope it's cooler tomorrow. Then we could do something fun after work.